guys. Today we're going to go through my Jefferson Nickel collection. Let's get to it. Okay, guys. So, I have been neglecting going through this uh, box of coins. And this contains all of my Jefferson Nickels that I have found. Um, coin raw hunting. Uh, we have some war nickels in here. We have, we even have like a semi-key date in here. A few, actually. And I just haven't gone through them in much detail. So, uh, I'm going to kind of sort through them and see what I can find. Um, again, just letting you know that I'm going through this again. Um... I'm, I'm kind of just seeing what I have and deciding which coins should go in a certain place. So, yeah, I'm just going to be going through this and I'll be doing it live with you guys. So, that way I can get a good video footage for you. I'm still trying to look for some storage system for these. Um, I need to order a book soon, which might be the next thing that I'll order. Um, it probably won't be like a Dansko. It might be just like a, a regular coin book for my Jefferson Nichols. But I figure I might as well go through them so that way they're at least pre-organized um, when I go through and put them in my book. So that way they're easier to show. So... I have them here, and I have a couple war nickels in here that I'm going to take out that I found in circulation, and then I have all of these to go through, so I'll just dump all these out. And I don't, actually, I don't think all of these I found in circulation. Some of these I've gotten from eBay purchases. But this is kind of the uh, majority of things here. So, yeah. So, um, I'm just going to go pick things out um, and see what's here. Uh, 47S. I think that's a low mintage coin, guys. Here's a 1948D. So I'm going to see what coins I can pull out of here. And I'm going to separate. I'm going to put the estimate marks in one. And then I'm going to pull out all the 40s dates and then 50s dates. And I'm going to pull out all the San Francisco minted Jefferson Nichols. And see kind of what I have here. I'm kind of just going through what I have now. So. There's an S. 41S. Here's the 42 non-silver uh, nickel. I'm kind of just going through and looking for... Um, Key, like semi key dates because I haven't really got a real chance to go through all of these and I need to uh, keep up on buying stuff for my Jefferson nickels and nickels other nickels basically because I don't have a book for them I don't have a map for them and I probably should get one of them soon just kind of to so that way I can keep them all organized. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, so that way I can kind of share what I have. And kind of go through each and every coin. Fifty 
52, we got a 57, 46, 58, here's a 58 Philly, that's a little bit better date, I'll set that aside, uh, we have an estimate mark 54S, which I can check for a, uh, and here's a 1939 that I can check for a, any doubling, I don't see any doubling. Uh, this one I found a year ago. Yeah, I don't see any doubling. <coughs> Excuse me. S minted. 53D. 58. 56. This one kind of looks like a barnacle, but it isn't. 41S. 51D. If that had been a 51S, that would have been a little bit better date. 42. Non-silver. 46. Philly. 59. Denver. 46. Philly. Third, another 39. I don't see any doubling on it, at least. 46. Philly. 56. 54. 53. 59. That's a 48. Philly. 49 Philly. I'm trying to get the 49S. That's what I need. Six. Fifty-four. Forty-two non-silver again. Forty-eight Philly. 53 Denver, 57 Denver, 40 Philly, mm, we see 39 here, no doubling on it, 58 Denver, 49 Philly, 56 Philly, 54, I think that was a S, 48S, that's a uh, semi-key, 57, 54, oh, 54S, I found a lot of 54S, S coins for some reason in the nickels, 40, Philly, 52, 59D, in not too bad a shape. 58D, 54S again. Find a lot of those. 57D, 49 Philly, 51. If that 51 was an S, that would have been a 7 key. Fifty-two, fifty-nine, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, Denver, forty-seven, forty-eight S. That's another semi key. Fifty-three D, fifty-five D. If that was a fifty-five Philly, that would have been a semi key. 46, 40, Denver, 46, Denver, 40, D, 59, D, 41, Philly, 
to another 55. Denver again. I see another S mint mark coming up here. 59. 40S. The early 40s are not so uh, rare with the S mint marks. Oh, I forgot I was taking out all S mint marks. Shoot. 53S is another S mint mark. Maybe a little bit lower mintage. 58 Denver, 47 Philly, 58 Denver, 41 Philly, 58 Denver, 41 Philly, 41 Philly again, 57 Den Denver, 49 Philly, 58 Denver, 52S, that's a little bit lower mintage, I'll put that with, I think that's actually might be a semi key too, 57 Denver, if I had my red book down here I could find out the actual mintages, but I'm pretty sure that one's also a semi key, so, 53 42 non silver, 59, and two 1940s. So, out of these coins, I would say the best coin, Jefferson Nichols, out of this part of my collection, are these here. So, we got three 1939s. We got some, I would consider semi keys. We got two 1948 S's, which are definitely semi keys. A 52 S is, is close to a semi key, and then 58 is a semi key. 47 S, I think, is a semi key. So, yes, and then we have S mint marks, which I probably will put separate. I'm not 100% sure. What I'm going to do with those, I, um, yeah, I'm not completely sure. I had an idea, though. I have this, um, uh, little jar thing that I put, um, coins in. And I might, I'm going to maybe go through some of these foreign coins. A lot of these, my, um, my... Uh, grandma gave to me when she came over years ago. And those were... That's where a lot of these came from. Here's a Canadian 50 cent piece. This was fake. I, I mean, it's pretty obviously fake. I got it from as a novelty piece. It's obviously fake. Australia, Hong Kong, you know what I'm going to do, I have a uh, giant container of foreign coins, and I'm just going to put all of them in there, and Let's put these.
Okay. Well, I was gonna need to put those in there anyway. Um, my uh, giant container of foreign coins. Alright, so more nickels in the bin. Some I key dates. We got 48, 52, 58, 47. We got 39s. We got S mint marks. We got all the 40s. Okay, so I can then use this box for something else. All right, so um, these are all organized now in this container here. New kind of little storage system here. Just checking to see if the camera's still rolling. It is. Alright, so how I separated these is we have all the 1950s here, all the 1940s here, we have 1939s and 38s here, war nickels here, or no, sorry. Uh, 40s, S mint marks, war nickels, 39s and 38s, 1948S, 1952S, 1958Philly, and 1947S. So, those are all the uh, semi-keys. These four are the semi-keys. War nickels, 39s, S mint marks, and 40s. And these, these, this big container here is 50s. So... I now decided that I'm going to make a label for this. I have my trusty label maker out here. Uh, so, uh, G E. Okay, see, this label printer is really awesome. That's why I, uh, I don't know. I just, I like label printers because they're way easier when it comes to, uh, printing things. So I'm, I bought this from Office Depot, this label printer. Um, so. I hope I spelled Jefferson right. Okay. Wait. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put the label on this and I'm going to like kind of tape it right in front, you know what? I might want to use um, tail. They're all the same. I was gonna say all my tape is faded like this. I was trying to find one that's not faded, but I guess all of my tape is. So I'll just.
Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So we have our label here, Jefferson Nichols. I still don't know. Because I know I had... Alright guys, I've also added some from my recent eBay purchases. So, we have these coins in here, which are AU, BU type coins that are Jefferson Nichols. Um, so... And get this camera right. So we have this 1955 Denver that is in about AU shape. And this 1957 Denver that has a really nice back, full steps. I found this one coin raw hunting. Uh, the two, two ones that I got in coin lots. This 1957 Philly with some nice toning. And then this 1952 S which has full steps, and it's in BU shape, and it's also a lower mint Jefferson. So, I put those in there. I switched the Warnicles to put in with the S mint marks for now. Um, that's, I guess that's just how I'll do it until I get my book. So, and a lot of these won't even fit in my book because a lot of these coins in these, the 50s and 40s are duplicates. So, for, in terms of what I'm actually going to put in the book when I get it, um, I'm probably going to put the ones that fit the AU spots, I'm going to put those in instead, just because, you know, I would rather have a spot for an AU coin than, you know, a not AU coin, so. Just kind of wanted to share that with you, and just wanted to let you know that I have been going through my Jefferson Nichols, and I kind of wanted to do an overview video of kind of what I've been doing to organize them. So, yeah, um, this is how I'm going to be organizing them for now until I get a book. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another antique or collecting related video. See ya.